How's it going, fellow Samoru Shin? This is another episode of Yakuza Kiwami 2, and in today's episode, even though there's this intimidating music playing in the background, I decided that I'm gonna go and take care of some shit around town. And by some shit, I mean there's like this. Actually, what did I want to do? I, f I remember I wanted to do something. I'll beat the fuck out of this guy. That's my priority. I feel like these rich, rich people got them pretty annoying. They pulled out weapons recently. I believe they show up more often, so that's neat. I wish I could keep that weapon. Got a gold plate, that's cool too. I think it's worth about 50,000. I would rather honestly receive 50,000 than receive a golden plate and now have to go to... Oh look, there's like a watch. It's like people watching over Millennium Tower. Alright, so... Uh, where did I want it to go? Pawn shop to sell all the garb, which I just got. I wanted to go to the... Yeah, I just wanted to take care of some mini games that I haven't done. Alright. There's one more song to sing in the karaoke club, so let's go and do it. Can I actually sing with Sayama? Is there like a way to do that? I can sing with Majima. That's such a disappointment that you cannot sing with Sayama. This is so stupid. You can sing with Haruka, you can sing with Majima, but you cannot sing with fucking Sayama? That's the dumbest. We haven't done this song. Even though I recognize it. Maybe this is the song that Haruka was singing? Go, 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 go. I love whenever <laughs> Kiryu's voice cracks when he sings. <laughs> it just proves that he's not even as good at singing as like anybody else would. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fucking coughing. Not even coughing, I'm just fucking trying to clear my throat. What haven't I done? Euro D X Free Shine. This is it the same song as this one? Except this is a Eurobeat version of it. I fucking knew there was. We already did this song. Let's do this one. I haven't sang it in a while. Let's try it. Also, I have an hour to record two videos. <clears throat> That's why I figured one of them. I'm just gonna do a bunch of useless shit. So it doesn't take me that long. Alright, 
that's the song with Nishiki. fought with Nishiki, I mean alongside Nishiki. But they haven't used any of the shots from the beginning of one where Nishiki was still nice. When we were sitting in Serena at the beginning of one. I think that's my favorite look of Nishiki because he still has long hair <coughs> but he has a different suit. It's like this black and white suit looks really cool. Did I beat my record at least? I don't think it did. But we ran out of time. So that's nice. No, I don't want to. I wanna quit. I get 4 millions. Which all of that money I'm gonna spend on Majima Construction. I think last time I played this game I didn't want it to spend all of the money on like Majima Construction and I just kept it. And then by the end of the game I was like, well what the fuck did I kept it for? <coughs> oh shit, the game loading in. Well, that's not the place I was looking for. The pawn shop. I was talking about these Godzilla movies a lot in this Let's Play, and you know what? I seen Godzilla vs. Kong. I wanted to see it in theaters, but they closed down theaters. I, could, I almost... Exactly before. I could get a chance to go and watch it. And it really annoyed me, but I did eventually watch it on my TV, in my room. And I gotta say, I didn't like it as much as King of the Monsters, because I think King of the Monsters was fucking badass, but this movie was also fucking cool. Except I don't... one thing that I don't know about that movie, which I'm gonna mention later, is... <coughs> I keep my fucking throat. Alright, whatever, Jesus. It's gonna kill you. It's more of a King Kong movie than a Godzilla movie. Godzilla kind of acts like the secondary villain that King Kong teams up with eventually. Oh, that's some new move I did? Kill him, come on. Motherfucker couldn't get up and I couldn't grab him. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how in that movie, but at the beginning King Kong is kept in this like simulation of Skull Island, which makes me question how the hell did they got him there? Well, I guess they do explain how they tra managed to trans tra transport King Kong into between places because they just put him to sleep like they did in the Peter Jackson one, except they did them with floral form and they put him in a theater, and in this one they put him in a simulation of Skull Island, so I guess they could study him. And there's this little girl who was implied to be the sole survivor of that tribe that we saw in the Skull Island uh, movie. Which I don't remember, they explained what happened to them, but I forgot what it was, but she's a survivor and she's being, being taken care of by some science lady, which I thought was just her mom at the beginning, but I guess it's not. Yeah, I'm going here too. How many of these movies do I have to watch? Are there some movies still like related to martial arts? Maybe there's a monster movie. And yeah, there's still a lot of movies. Actually, there's only four. So, you know, if I did 
two sessions of this, I could just finish it. Let's go with this one. I said I have an hour, but it's not like a very strict hour, but I would still like to take care of this in an hour. See a tutorial video for... <coughs> for fights. Man, this is one awful commentary I'm doing, I'll just keep coughing. And they want to trans... The, the plan is to use King Kong because he's one of the like alpha monsters. <laughs> so that they could gain access to Hollow Earth. Which I think is what they tried to do in Skull Island actually. That's why they tried to blow up Skull Island because it was like the best access point to Hollow Earth. Which is... Hollow Earth is basically like on the core of Earth there's like another Earth. It's as if Earth is like empty and inside of Earth there's like another fucking planet. Where a bunch of monsters live. And I really like the, the whole gravity concept of it. That if you jump high enough you're just gonna turn around and... Then you're gonna like walk on the ceiling. Like it has two gravities in one place. Which I think would crush you if that happened. <coughs> but I'm not a scientist and I can't really confirm that. But I do like the visual effect of everything that got stuck in the middle of these two gravities and there's like a bunch of rocks and they just kind of form this like huge layer of just rocks floating in nothing this one's about street fights you even get to see the moves in action so it's a great learning tool yeah but did I learn anything? <coughs> what is the point of these things? Ledger of the Drunken Fist that's a good movie Drunken Master it's with Jackie Chan I used to air on TV a lot and I used to watch it. I don't remember much from it. His sister was like trying to con some kind of gangster and I think she got in trouble. Something like that. I remember his, his dad was an asshole. Let's put this fucking surf music. Sounds like something out of SpongeBob. Am I actually watching Spongebob? You're watch learning fighting moves from Spongebob. It's gonna blow bubbles at enemies now. It's gonna jump in the air and do belly flops. This one's about a fierce battle between two drunken fist users. I guess being unpredictable is part of the art. It reminds me of that whole theory that Jar Jar Binks is a fucking Sith Lord and he actually utilizes that art, martial art. All because in episode 1, at the battle at the end, Jar Jar is seen just stumbling through the battlefield but actually defeating enemies. Not sure, maybe that's true. I don't know. I still hate him. Doesn't fucking change that. And I'll forever do. Well, whatever, I'm just gonna watch all of them and never enter a fucking video parlor or whatever this place is called ever again. Gives me nothing, but whatever. Yeah, so they transport a King Kong on a boat, and then he has that first fight with Godzilla on a boat, and I think, I think he kinda loses, because King Kong just kinda wrecks everybody, everybody and then he leaves. Thinking that he won. And transport King Kong to like Antarctica where they found like a... When they were digging a tunnel to Hollow Earth. But they need his help to transport them. Him. To transport them there. And I'll be honest with you, I don't remember what was the point of them going that. To Hollow Earth anyway. I think they wanted like a power source in there because there was like a crystal that gives you a lot of power. Yeah, and they go to Hollow Earth, it's a pretty cool place. King Kong gets a fucking axe, which I thought was a fucking awesome idea to give King Kong a weapon since he has a hand. Why not give him a gun? Or an axe, whatever. Because he was fighting with a... with a turbine... engine in Skull Island, and I thought that was badass if King Kong had a weapon. And they actually did do it, so that's cool. And not only that, but they gave him like a magical axe. And then with that axe, he sits on like a throne and he looks like a king. And I was like, fuck yeah, this is cool. And he uses the axe like a key and he activates something. 
And then the bad guys try to steal the source of the Axis power or whatever, but they get blown up. I love their death, it's just like King Kong grabs their ship they're trying to escape and he just squeezes them in his hand and they just blow up. Oh, Tonfa. I'm watching more cartoons, but this one's about Tonfas. Will I finally learn how to use a Tonfa? I have three of them in my equipment and I cannot use them because I don't have that skill. That was some serious Tonfa skill. Maybe I could learn a thing or two from this guy. Oh, look. I actually got something out of this. Watching fucking movies. So you can't complain that I was wasting my time here now. I just happened to watch every single possible wrong movie before I watched the correct one. It'd be kinda cool if I could master the Drunken Fist style. I remember Drunken Fist was a style the enemies used in Yakuza 1 and it always fucking pissed me off whenever they did. Cause they were so annoying and unpredictable and when I got beaten up by them I just looked like an asshole. Like some fucking drunken old man beat the shit out of me. But I'm the cool guy, I'm the cool main character, I can't be fucking beaten. At least not in such a lame fucking fashion. Yeah, and then Godzilla shoots like a fucking laser through the whole earth to ho into Hollow Earth, summoning King Kong. And I think they're in Shanghai. I think they're in Shanghai and Godzilla straight up shoots a laser into Hollow Earth through like the entire of entirety of Earth, and then King Kong like accepts the challenge or something like that, and he climbs through that hole that he just shot to Godzilla, and they fight in Shanghai. Which is pretty cool, there's neon lights in the background, they fight. I really wish I could have watched this in theaters, that would have been awesome, but I didn't fucking got to. What is this place about? It's like, uh... Good to see you, friend, what do you want to do today? Oh, this is the photo shoot place. I, I said we'll never go here again, but ah, whatever. I know how it works. Hope nobody walks in. Well, nobody will, because I closed the fucking door. Sure. Wish we got some better outfits. I wonder if this was in the original or did they actually make this for? Also, this strangely has... Ah, oh, fuck. Hmm. I'm not sure oh. I believe you, but... Yes. Thanks. Forgot you gotta actually focus on what you're doing here. What I'm getting at is that this has strangely... Strange sounds. Oh. Did I... Hmm. Make you mad. I can't fucking speak while doing this bullshit. Just like the fucking rhythm mini games. This looks like they shot it in a porn studio, is what I'm getting at. Which would make sense. I'm in love with your big titties. Your body. Well, that includes her big titties, so I guess it makes sense. But I filled out the heart, what are you talking about? Hmm. I'll get you in the mood, alright. Nice. Sounds like something I would have probably fucking said. I was caught on the spot with a cute Asian girl with huge tits. I love her book sign on the shelf, but she has no books. Hmm. Lure me deep oh. down into your cleavage. That sounds great. Is she a porn actress? I'm actually taking pictures of some whore. I had to do this one more time before the end of the Let's Play. Come on. I don't know if YouTube won't take it down. Oh. It's honestly hmm. a little bit too oh. 
Nothing's ever too sexy. What are you talking about, Scooter? Scooter, 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 Scooter
A, an unplugged lo unplugged lamp. If you notice that, Yoosh! it's unplugged. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I couldn't say it better, Kiryu. Let's get the fuck out of here before I get banned from YouTube. Oh, you know what I checked out? I forgot to tell you that story. I, I went to see... How long was my Let's Play of Yakuza 1? It was 39 episodes. So that's kind of long. And actually, I forgot how long it was. I think it was 39 episodes. I don't remember it again. But anyway, I checked it. And you know what I found out? The episode where I put... And one of the episodes I used... In Yakuza 1, there was this mini game called Battle Bugs. Battle Bug Ladies or something like that. And it was kind of like a mini game where you collected cards around city. Just like collecting keys, except this time we collected cards. Oh nice. This guy's fucking dead. And what is going on? I'm just being bounced around. Oh, she defeated him, nice. Something on the ground I could have picked up, it's like a can. Maybe I could have done some cool finisher with it. Yeah, and the episode where I put on a thumbnail the battle, bu battle bug lady who had huge tits, I might add. I checked out that playthrough and there's this one episode that doesn't have a thumbnail. And you might be wondering why doesn't have why doesn't it have a thumbnail? Well, now you know it doesn't have a thumbnail because they took it down. YouTube deleted my thumbnail of one of the episodes of Yakuza 1 and probably one of the episodes of Yakuza 0 too because in Yakuza 0 there was this cat fight, underground cat fight ring. And, you c and there's also girls with huge tits fighting in an arena in skimpy outfits. And in one of the episodes I tried to put one of those girls on the, th on the thumbnail. But I had trouble because YouTubers keep deleting it, so I made two different thumbnails. And I was keep using each one of them, like I was keep seeing which one would just stick. Or what you guys. Curious, I'm good to see you. I was expecting to lose in there, but well, you know what happened. I'd like it stick by you from now on if you don't mind. After all, I, I need to take my revenge someday. No, so there's more people that want to join me, old karate man. At high, Scholar Kawaruchi wanted me to take down his brother Gensho. I should see if he's here. Yeah, that's why I came here for. He sure did a number on me last time, but that wasn't the end. <sighs> Die. Just kidding. I totally want to fight you again, but I honestly don't have the guts. That's why I've decided to train under you. That isn't an offer you can refuse. Oh, he's golden. That's nice. I might, might think about that. Alright, where is this asshole? Yeah, and they might have taken that thumbnail down too, but I haven't checked. I should probably check, I guess. Well, I gotta fight his brother, right? Well, you're not gonna tell me which ones I did already? Records points to the next rank. 22 wins. Rising one tournament. Uh, there's six tournaments. Yeah, cool, but what, am I gonna have to enter whatever tournament? Hold on. I just wanted to do the the side quest, or do I have to do a finish one of those two? Well, don't only ask me to view the rules. So I guess I gotta do something. Oh, maybe his brother would become one of the fighters. Rising Wind Tournament. Oh, Redman's so disgusting, good lord. I was talking about Kong. Where did I left on? I had only fought in Shanghai, which was pretty awesome. So this movie all focuses on King Kong, I was kind of rooting for King Kong more and Godzilla. King Kong's more expressive, you know, he has a relationship with a little girl. I was kind of rooting for that too. 
sound's getting all fucked up. Fuck his ass is exposed too. And I think the first round actually did. King Kong did one. The second round, King Kong got bitten on the arm by Godzilla. There's a scene where Godzilla actually climbs one of the buildings and jumps off of it, which I thought was supposed to be a callback. The fact that Godzilla is always associated with climbing buildings. How's this asshole supposed to be tougher than Red Man? Well, I can't hit him for some reason. Maybe they made the hitbox all fucked up. Or not. So where's the brother of that guy I was supposed to fight? Is he gonna show up at the end? After I'm done with the tournament? Yeah, cause that's not him. Well, Redman was tough because he at least hit like a, another layer of a health bar. This guy didn't even put up a fight. I kind of obliterated him. This really doesn't give me much points. Yeah, see, he doesn't do anything. Don't tell me, do I have to max out every single tournament and like defeat this? Is that what I have to do? Or is it gonna trigger a cutscene now that I quit? I didn't do anything. Beat Gensho Kauchi in the Colosseum, that's all it says. It doesn't say... It doesn't say beat everybody before. It doesn't say like, become the champion of the arena to be granted the fucking permission to fight. Fight that guy. It doesn't say anything like that, it's stupid. And he gets bitten on the other. Oh, there's also a scene where he shoves the handle of the axe into Godzilla's mouth. Charlie's thought was a really dirty move. Even in the original one where he shoved a tree in his mouth, which I guess was supposed to be a callback to that scene. Cause it's like, oh man, imagine having something like shoved down your throat forcefully. That that's doesn't doesn't sound like a fair fighting move to pull off, right? Sounds like a annoying thing to do to someone. Yeah, and... What else? King Kong is bitten in the arm. He loses. He kind of gives up. Like, Godzilla yells at him. He just kind of lays there on amongst the rub rubble buildings. Destroyed buildings. He just kind of fucking gives up. Which is pretty sad to see. But then Mecha Godzilla, which is this evil company's idea. Also, there's like a side plot with like a podcaster who's like a conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy theorist who sneaks into these fucking places alongside with the girl from King of the Monsters. Which is cool, I guess. Is this where I have to go? Where's the entrance to this bit? God damn it. Can I enter from this side? Well, I sure can. Without being spotted too, there's nobody here. Just destroying these fucking benches. Like they destroyed the city in the movie. There you go. I should be a fucking kaiju. They should make a movie. K Kiryu vs. Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Kiryu. Yeah, I really like the movie. I still haven't finished watching all the other Godzilla movies that I was technically supposed to watch before this one. But I, I think I caught up with enough Godzilla and King Kong movies to get what they are about and get all the callbacks, such as the one with the three. For example, I didn't watch Godzilla vs. Mothra 1 and 2. Godzilla vs. Me Mega Gigarus. That's another one I haven't watched. It's always so annoying that Kiryu fucking recalls what he has to do when he stands still. Can't I turn that off? Well, whatever. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.